Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter while using Visual Studio Code. Our viewer is experiencing a problem with the PowerShell integrated terminal hanging when they try to start it. Let's dive into the details of this issue and explore some potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully you get through that resolution. So let's continue on. If your PowerShell integrated terminal in Visual Studio Code is hanging, the first step is to check your configuration settings. Make sure that the path to PowerShell is correctly set. For a 64-bit version, it should point to SysNative. Next, ensure that your Visual Studio code is updated to the latest version. Sometimes, bugs in older versions can cause issues. If the problem persists, Try resetting your terminal settings to default. This can resolve conflicts caused by custom configurations. Finally, if none of these steps work, consider reinstalling Visual Studio Code or checking for extensions that might be causing conflicts. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If your VS Code PowerShell integrated terminal is hanging on Windows 10, you're not alone. This is a known issue. A workaround is available on GitHub. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If your VS Code PowerShell terminal is hanging, it might be stuck loading your profile. To fix this, you can disable profile loading in your settings. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If your VS Code PowerShell terminal hangs when starting, you might be facing a similar issue. A user found that loading a file directly caused the hang. They tried several methods, including double-clicking a PS1 file, starting VS Code empty, and using command line parameters. Using the verbose switch, they discovered VS Code might be checking for updates with NPM. After extensive troubleshooting, the solution was to delete a specific directory. The key fix was to delete the directory located at C users your user ID code. This directory can be large, isn't removed during software uninstallation, and may become corrupted. After deleting it, the issue was resolved. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And, you know, if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.